Hello, everybody. We really don't know how we follow that. Um, but if every conference started like that, um, I'd be much appreciated. <laughs> and every conference finished like that, I'd, I'd, God knows how you're going to finish your conference. <laughs> but I expect it's better than saying, thank you, goodbye, have a safe journey, bye. <laughs> so, so... <laughs> So this afternoon, so, so my name's Scott Watkin, and, I, and I'm Head of Engagement at Seeability, and... My name is Grace, and I'm, I'm McGill, and Scott arranged my uh, placement, and I'm here to talk about it today. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about... I'm going to talk about my employment journey, and then we're going to talk about Grace and her, her and what she did at the Bank of England. So, a bit about me. So, I have a learning disability, and I was told at school that I'd never get a job, never live independently, never have a family. And the only person that believed in me was my mum. And actually, and actually, I have done all of those things, and um, I wish I could go back to my school now and tell them that um, you're wrong. Um, so I did not know how to use the underground, um, and I did not know because the underground is so confusing, um, and and still to this day I get lost on it. Um, but I think I think. I think sometimes my colleagues wish I get lost on it sometimes <laughs> because I give them a hard time. Um, I did not know how to use email or technology so, and, and so I had to really, so, so that was really difficult and I had to really learn how to use it. And I did not know how to travel on the trains. So actually living on the Isle of Wight and having to travel to London, oh my God, that's... Um, that's going to be fun, isn't it, if you can't do it? Um, and getting a ferry as well. So lots of obstacles in my way. So where am I today? In 2017, I received the British Empire Medal in the New Year's Honours list. Um, for, for services to learning disability. And, and actually, that was um, a bit of a shock. Um, I sat on my sofa at home crying, thinking, oh my God, is this letter actually real or is it fake? I had to take it to my mother, although you're not going to tell anybody about it. Well, I, I really can't keep my mouth shut. <laughs> so I went over to my mum and she said to me, I'm not sure if it's true itself. But actually it was, because I then rung them up. <laughs> um, and so that was a big achievement for me. And I never thought I would get received that. Now I'm just waiting for my knighthood. George and Rona, <laughs> Lauren. Um, <laughs> so... So in January 2019, I started a new role in Seeability as Head of Engagement, leading at senior level, leading on our engagement work across the organisation. Did I ever think I'd get into a leadership role and actually help influence an organisation and lead a whole and lead a department around engagement? No, I didn't. I didn't have a clue. I thought... I thought to myself, well, I'll just be shell stacking for the rest of my life and doing voluntary work, and I've really proved that. So my past roles have included the chair of the Learning and Disability Partnership Board, and I helped restructure that ready for valiant people now, and then I left them because the director was boring. Um, I then applied for the job as co-national director for learning disabilities in the Department of Health, 
we will we'll take a bit of social care off because I'm not sure if they know know how to do social care at the moment. And and there were fifty people that applied for that, and I didn't think I had a chance, and I got the job. Oh dear, I don't know how to travel on a train. I don't know how to use the underground. I don't know how to use email or technology, so that was fun. So they had to give me lots of support to do that. I then went to Mencap and worked in the inclusion team and tried to help Mencap to be really inclusive, and I did that for two years. I then went to Seability, which I never left, as an eye care and vision development officer at Seability, going around the country talking about eye care for people with learning disabilities, supporting people to get good eye care, because I know how hard it is having a visual impairment myself. What support did I get? I got to where I am today with the support of my family. And actually, God damn it, if my, if my mum was here today, she'd be very proud of me standing here today watching me, but actually she's sitting on the Isle of Wight. <laughs> right. Uh, I, I keep trying to say to mum, you need to come to one of my, my, my speaking slots, and she did once, and I was a complete mess. <laughs> Professionals believed in me. I, I had to prove myself, but professionals actually believed in me. And the reason why that was, I thought, is because I was an always honest person and, and I was honest with you as people and I was true to myself. And I never said, I never, I never gave, you, gave up. I never gave empty promises. I've always delivered in what I say I'm going to deliver. And I always will. So I'm really proud to have... To have had to stand here next to Grace, the person we support at Seability. And I've known Grace a really long time, and actually she's achieved so much in the last four years, and I'm going to let Grace tell her story, but I'm really proud to be next to Grace. And so, Grace... Thank you very much to Scott for that. It's just welled me up over. I've not realised how much I've achieved in the last four years by myself. It's taken other people to tell me. Okay, the Bank of England um, chose Seability as their charity of the year. I went to the Bank of England to deliver some visual impairment awareness training and uh, did some exercises with them when they were under blindfold or having glasses to mimic eye conditions, doing things like pouring a jug of water into a cup, pouring sweets into a bag, using a liquid level sensor to do drinks in a cup, and they found it remarkably difficult. A few weeks later, after I went up there, they asked me if I would like to do a work placement at the Bank of England. I jumped at a chance, but I wouldn't have jumped at a chance four or five years ago because I just had no confidence in myself whatsoever. Scott supported me to deliver some learning disability awareness training and at the Bank of England and helped me prepare my presentation and practice it before we went up there. And this was so that they could make reasonable adjustments for when I was on my placement. One of the people who works at the Bank of England said it was probably one of the best training sessions they'd been on in their career, which did mean a lot to me, really, because that was m only my first or second time of doing a presentation at that point. And I completed my week-long placement in the November that year. The com I didn't realise how long and tiring the commute would be, but I didn't regret it because of that. It also gave me an insight into what paid work would give me in, in an insight into going into a working environment and getting and having a paid job, which is what I want, which is what I'm aiming for. <coughs> I've recently applied for an eye care vision champion job with seeability.
So you have only met Grace five minutes. I put up with Grace's jokes and insults. It's quite good. Um, she keeps me on my toes and entertained. Um, and she's got to put up with me until 10 o'clock tonight. So, so my role in the future. So I'm currently in the process of employing people we support to become influencers. And I'm hoping that Grace will apply for that job just like anybody else in our services. So at the moment, we're only going to recruit inside our services, but eventually we'll look to recruiting extra outside of our services. People will be given training and support so that they can speak up about what's important for them and other people with a learning disability. And I know what works, so I want to teach others to do what I did. And finally, our Reading and Willing and Able program for around supported employment will be launched later in the late later in the summer. So and 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 so thank you for listening. You've been listening to Scott and Grace. Thank you.